there was a perception when the the Xbox version was released that the uh, the PC uh, version was downgraded to match the Xbox. Now, um, I, I, I'm hesitant to even ask this, but uh, I'll ask the question. It's fine. You're going to ask me. Will we see the same thing in four? So yeah. my honest answer is I don't know. Um, if I I don't have the answer to it, so I don't know the answer. Um, I know that we have to make. Uh, Elite Dangerous obviously work on um, Xbox One and PS4s um, because that's, I think, I'm not sure if it's a legal requirement. I don't want to say it's a legal thing, but it's DLC for the game that's already on their system. Mm. Uh, what, do I think it's going to look as good as it runs on a high-end PC? No, I don't. That's me being 100% honest because I just don't think the Xbox One on a PS4 has that tech. Okay, so that's him being 100% honest again. How many people took your 17 shots for that last little round of clips? Uh, yeah, that last clip, and feel free to, if you're watching it later on Video On Demand or if you're going to watch the highlight clip later in the week, feel free to pause right now, go back and re-listen after I explain to you what you just heard, and let it sink in and melt your brain. Literally, Colin from Lave Radio asked Art, and he was embarrassed to ask it. He actually sort of tried to bail on the question mid-go because he was like, oof, this is awkward. He said there was a perception when Horizons was released that, and it came out on Xbox, that the game was released on Xbox, that they nerfed the PC graphics to bring it in line with the Xbox. And then he he kind of was like, uh, e, er, cause that's a thing that the company has vehemently denied till now. And Art sort of jumped in and said, no, no, go ahead and ask it. You're saying, are, is it gonna happen again? Which when you say that, you are either A, in fairness, I, I have to give him this to be fair, Maybe he misspoke, which would not be a great thing for a professional spokesperson who knows he's being broadcasted, but it would be better than the alternative. The alternative is when you say, is it going to happen again? You're saying that it already happened the first time, which, oof. But then he goes on to answer, I honestly don't know. So I honestly don't know parentheses if it will happen again and then i'm going to be honest with you honesty 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 i'm so honest and then he says in the end i don't think that the xbox and the piece uh, playstation can you know keep up with the graphics of the pc so yeah there's sort of three separate levels to that which concern me the first is did he just confirm what we've all sort of known but nobody would ever admit to before that that they did throttle graphics on the pc back when they launched it on the xbox and or or, or maybe he misspoke and is this a concern that it might happen again tweaked Yeah, uh, I wasn't around when it first launched on Xbox, so I'm not sure. I, I couldn't tell you whether or not PC had better graphics before they launched on Xbox. I did hear those same rumors when it launched on PlayStation that both Xbox and PC were dumbed down a little bit. I can't imagine they would want to do that. And and as far as his comments where he doesn't believe that it's going to run as good or be as good looking on Xbox One and PS4, that doesn't really hurt my feelings that he said that because I think what we're seeing right now is they can barely get it to work on your high end PCs. The optimization is so bad. The frames per second is so bad in the stations and whatnot. That's never going to fly on the Xbox one and the PS4. That technology is almost a decade old now. Uh, almost goes to, I believe I said a few weeks ago that it would be a rough thing for a good portion of the console community but I almost wonder if they wouldn't have just been better off building it for the Series X and the PS5, which is much more in line with a gaming computer. 
it seems like they're having trouble getting it to that point. And I'm scared of what it's going to do to the overall product for what they try to do to get it to that point. Mm. Boss lady. Ah, that's a good point. I was literally thinking that right while you were talking tweaked. I went, what about, you know, aiming for the, the PS five and the, you know, the new Xbox it's, it's a trick because personally, I have to say I'm biased on this issue because I have been having so many issues just trying to uh, stream Odyssey. And it's it's forced me to completely update my whole, the whole way I do everything. And I know I'm not the only person. And so it, it, it it's a weird one. So going back I have to go back and then I'll get back to that point. So going back to the difference between Arf saying, you know, this was done before. Remember, he is a player of the community. So he might have an opinion from before he was the community manager where, you know, he thought that was the case. It may not be a case of inside information on that. Like Kai said, maybe it's a misspoken or something like that. But that could be one of those outside idea concepts, not so much inside information. Um I've been looking forward to the fact that because of Xbox and PS4, they're going to have to optimize Odyssey even further because the thing that I loved about Elite is that someone on a shitty laptop could play the game. That, you know, anybody can stream the game because it's not going to wreck their their computer. And the thing about Odyssey that's been heartbreaking for me personally is having to spend, you know, thousands of dollars to upgrade. Mm. But to see so many people knocked out of it, and that's kind of, I know this is going to throw a wrench and everything, but that's the difference between Elite and Star Citizen. Is Star Citizen is a very resource intensive <gasps> game mm -hmm. i know <laughs> um and elite has always been really accessible so i do hope in a way that i don't want us to get nerfed graphics but i do really hope it pushes them to optimize and allow more people to be able to get into the game again mm. honestly i think uh star citizen's been running a as smooth or smoother than Odyssey lately, but yeah. Oh, uh, no. Black Maze, you're up. Yeah, I, 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 almost uh, uh, sidetracking. I just wanted to say 07 again. You got all these clips together and it was all news for me. Like I hadn't seen any of that. And there's so much acknowledgement and confirmation that I hadn't, I wouldn't have known about otherwise. Um, thank you. If I hadn't heard them here. Why, thank you. And your thoughts on... Uh, well, hmm. I guess we can leave uh, that be. You don't have yeah, to comment all, on it. All, all I can say about the graphics, like we, we went to a different like a different game engine upgrade, right? And, and it's a huge topic and, and very, like very shortly, I'm, I wonder whether it was the right decision. There must be a hundred technical reasons why they decided to upgrade their engine and then sort of like rebuild the game up because in, 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 I think with a lot of systems they've had to, you know, all these assets that they ported over from the old engine, the materials, uh, uh, the, you know, that, that now have to work with their new lighting system, uh, that is the PBR lighting system. Suddenly all those materials don't behave the same way anymore. So they've, they've, they've got to tweak everything. Every, there, there'll be thousands, countless of materials and textures that need retouching. And sometimes I wonder if you've got this game that is eight years old, is it eight years? I think so. Um, is it smart to go and upgrade the entire thing or would it be smarter to stay on the tech that, that we've all gotten used to and, and work with the limitations you have in order to continue to support uh, the, you know, the, 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 the older consoles and stuff like that?